Jerry Adams will announce his plans to retire after 34 years as president of Shin Efe Acute IN on Saturday, marking a generational shift that will break the leadership's last link with Republican violence. Adams will take to the stage of Dublin's RD's conference hall to set out an exit that some analysts say will improve Shin Efe Acute IN's electoral chances in the Irish Republic. But sources within the main Irish Republican movement and veteran Adamses believe the 69-year-old will still hold the centre of power in Sinn Féin acute IN from behind the scenes long after his official successor is elevated to the top post. Having survived as head of his party longer than five British prime ministers, six Irish premiers and five US presidents, Adams will use the televised speech to set out a timetable for his departure that he has indicated will take about a year. When he does finally go, the Shin Efe acute IN politician most likely to take over from Adams will be the party's deputy leader and Dublin TD, Mary Lou MacDonald. With Michelle O'Neill the leader in Northern Ireland, the party once umbilically linked to the provisional IRA and its armed campaign will not only be led by two women but also by a generation with no direct involvement in the provisional's 30-year war. One veteran of the Iris West Belfast's brigade who was once close to Adams and his family doubts that the former MP for the constituency and TD fell out in the Irish Republic is about to relinquish his control of the party. Jerry made Shin Effie acute IN in his own image, the former IRA prisoner said. Whatever you think about a him he was the master strategist. He built Shin Effie acute IN up into an efficient electoral machine. He guided the party and the movement away from war to peace. It could never have been done without him and he knows that. He still thinks he can push them onto power in the South Irish Republic as his final achievement. So he will be staying around, in the back room, working the controls. Outside observers of the often closed world of Irish republicanism also agree that ADAMS's history and character dictate he will still play a leading role behind the scenes. D. Glenda Brayadoon, the author of Power Play The Rise of Modern Shin Effie Acute IN, said it is hard to imagine him withdrawing entirely from political activity. He said Adams was even more likely to remain a key backroom figure following the death of his friend and closest ally during the peace process, the late Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland Martin McGuinness. Although he has a certain popular appeal as an icon of Irish republicanism, the more controversial aspects of his past are constantly highlighted by political opponents in the Republic. On ADAMS's switch from Northern Ireland to the Doyle, de Breadu noted he has never really settled into the political scene in the Republic and his grasp of the finer points of economic policy, for example, remains rather limited. Nor does he appear to enjoy the cut and thrust of parliamentary debate. Jerry Adams with the Shin Effie Acute IN Deputy Leader, Mary Lou MacDonald, who is tipped as the candidate most likely to succeed him as leader. Photograph Niall Carson put there was speculation that Adams would use his semi-retirement to run next year for the presidency of Ireland. Last weekend, however, he ruled himself out of a contest that proved to be particularly brutal and bruising for McGuinness back in 2011. On the hustings McGuinness came face to face with IRA victims, including the son of an Irish SOL other provisionals had murdered who said in front of the TV cameras that the Shin Effie acute IN deputy leader was not fit to be president of the nation. Given the allegations levelled at Adams ranging from being a senior I remember to ordering the kidnapping, murder and secret burial of the mother of Tan Jean McConville in 1972 charges he has always denied, it seems unlikely he would want to resurrect such controversies during a televised Irish presidential election. ADAMS's unofficial biographer, however, believes the Shin Effie acute IN president will impose one caster on rule on his replacement, a vigorous defense at all times of the legitimacy of the provisional IRIS campaign. Malachi O'Doherty, author of Jerry Adams' An Unauthorized Life, said the priority for Adams is that his party never disowns the IRA. He will not want or allow any successor to ever cast out on the validity of that IRA campaign. He will want them to state that this campaign was as legitimate as the rebels of 1916.
Despite his many remarkable achievements in turning the Republican movement towards solely peaceful constitutional politics, Adams is now seen by both external observers and some party insiders as a break on the party's growth in the Republic. His long-standing connection to the era's violent armed struggle and his often poor performances in Doyle parliamentary debates continue to alienate vast sections of the Irish Republic's middle class. Yet despite his promise before this weekend's 2017 Sinn Féin acute Ionard fears to provide a road map to retirement, Adams the author as much as the leader continues to leave hints about his true intentions. Earlier this month he launched a new book, a collection of his writings on topics ranging from his thoughts on Brexit to his love of dogs. ADAMS's latest work is titled Never Give Up. Jerry Adams 1970 Adams joins up with the provisionals after the IRA divided with the Marxist officials. 1972 He is interned without trial in Long Kesh prison camp as an IRA suspect but freed that summer to join an IRA delegation that held secret meetings with British ministers in London. 197,376 Adams is imprisoned several times and starts to write under the nom de guerre of Brownie for the Republican newspaper and for Black, mapping out a political strategy strategy beyond the Iris armed campaign. 1981 While Shin Effie Acute Ian's vice president he plays a pivotal role in the hunger strikes in which seven IRA prisoners and three Inler inmates starve themselves to death for political status. The mass support on the streets for the hunger strikers convinces Adams of the need to engage in electoral politics. 1983 Adams is elected MP for West Belfast and later internally voted in as Shin Effie Acute IAN president, a post he has held ever since. 1984 He is shot and wounded by a UDA assassin in central Belfast. 1992 He loses his West Belfast seat to the moderate nationalist party the SDLP as talks are about to start between him and John Hume, its leader. 1994 Adams is one of the co-architects alongside McGuinness of an IRA ceasefire, which within three years becomes a permanent cessation of violence. 1997 He sees off an attempted coup d'etat by a hardline IRA faction to take over the Republican movement and push it towards war once more. The defeated recalcitrants break away to form the real IRA. 1998 Adams takes part in all-party peace talks in Belfast that lead to the Good Friday Agreement. 2005 The IRA decommissions most of its huge terror arsenal. 2007 Adams backs McGuinness to enter a power-sharing government. With their former foe the Revian Paisley, a once unthinkable arrangement that leads to almost a decade of a devolved cross-community coalition in Northern Ireland. ADAMS's ultimate aim of a united Ireland, however, has failed to materialise and is unlikely to in his lifetime.